I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Kelly Price responds to backlash after sending a prayer out to Sean Combs. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds or a minute before I, re hey, hi, hi everybody. Uh, before I say too much. Um, Cause I haven't decided uh, whether or not I'm gonna keep this live up, but I decided to do one. Hello, 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 hello. Happy blessed Sunday to everybody. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, hi. Thank you. Hey, Toyera. Hello, hello, hello. I'm good. Thank you for asking how I am. I am good. Um, I think everything should be up. Someone said they just... Uh, Yes, all dates will be posted. Hello. Hello, hello, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. <sighs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna sit in here and argue with trolls. Um, I'm finally to the point where I realize after 31 plus years in this business, there's always gonna be somebody that has something negative to say. So I leave them in their negative space and I stay in the space that God has blessed me to be in because whether you love me, you can't do anything about it. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I came here to say this. Um, I do realize that when you put something out, you leave it up to the person who hears it or sees it. It's really up to how they choose to comprehend it. Some of you got it. Some of you did not. Um, I could give you the whole religious thing, which if you are a real Kelly Price uh, follower, you know I'm not church. I love God because I stick with where there are humans, there is the opportunity for there to be lots of error because we are all made of flesh, all born in sin, all shaped in iniquity, and we all have the capacity if we allow ourselves to go to a dark enough place to do some very horrible things. For those of you who got it, you don't need an explanation. Um, I have not spoken about any of this stuff since it's come out. I don't stand with anything that is criminal. Um, none of us can unsee what we saw. For those of you who got what I was trying to say, and I was compelled to say it, I don't need the clout. Um, so for those of you who are saying that, you know, you're the one who's inside my life, so I guess you need it. Um, it was really more of a warning like when it's all said and done, we're body, soul, and spirit, right? So if someone has a problem with alcoholism or, or whatever it is, if you put them in a 90-day program and they feel better at day 45 and they check themselves out, the work has not been finished. The work has not been complete. I'm, I simply said to him because I believed that he would hear it that make sure, I was pretty much telling him, do the soul work. 
So it wasn't, oh my God, I'm praying for you. Why are they trying to drag the black down? You've not seen me out here on that. So for those of you who tried to make it that, you need something to harp on and I get it. Do what you gotta do to make your life feel important. I don't need to do those things. I, I actually do real things that leave a mark in this world, which is the reason why you actually know my name while you're trying to drag me, okay? Um, I really was telling him, do the soul work. Do the soul work. Because there's nothing that therapy, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, whatever the case may be, they can give you steps to try and not repeat the behavior. But if you don't get your soul right, there will not be real change. The proper definition of, of uh, repentance is a change of heart, a change of mind, and a change of direction. I was basically telling him, you gotta change your heart, you gotta change your mind, and you gotta change your direction. If you know God, you say you know God, when you wanna know God or you wanna do better, I simply was saying that he had to do the work. The rest of you went on a harp, you went off on this thing, you talking about I pick a side, I pick the side of righteousness. I don't care who it is. There's no amount of money that's going to make me. There's no person in any position that's going to ever make me be okay with doing something to someone else so horrific. We live in a world where people thrive off of this stuff. Y'all have a good time jumping online, talking to people like they crazy that you know you ain't gonna ever see in real life. And if you did, you definitely won't have that energy. I keep telling y'all, y'all better be careful because you never know who you're gonna see. And if you see them, you never know how when you walk up on them, how they're gonna respond. We have keyboard thugs. This is the thing. We don't hold each other accountable enough. You saw what you wanted to see. And if that's how you understood it, I'm gonna let you see it that way. I told him, do what you need to do to get your soul right, brother. It's up to the courts to decide what they do with him legally. I have nothing to do with that. But the, in the end, he's still gonna have to see God. He's still gonna have to see God. And whether he lives a long life outside of jail or the rest of his life in jail, I'm talking to a person and telling him, get your soul right. I was not fist in the air. Go, Diddy, go. That's what y'all tried to make it be. You're bored this Sunday, by the way. I just had a most beautiful lunch with a colleague. It's been a good day for me because I refuse for trolls and people who have lesser understanding to decide how my day is, is gonna go. You know what I am praying? That he got the message, that he saw it, and that he chooses to do those things. I could have came on here all Jesus he preachy, he without sin, let him throw the first stone. We all know that. What we all gotta remember too is, you know, we can't ask God for forgiveness if we can't forgive others, but I didn't bring that here either. You decided to misconstrue what I said and that's on you. He needs to go to God. He know what he has to do. Cause the reality of it is, is when you're in right standing with God, God won't allow you. When you're really in right standing with God, he will not allow you to walk around knowing that you have done horrible things to people and not go back and make it right with them. So for the people who understood what it was I was trying to say, I was not up this morning being a Diddy cheerleader. I used my voice to someone who for nearly 30 years now, if I had something to say, he would listen. He listened because I didn't party with him. He listened because I did not hang out with him socially. His nickname for me when I first started working with Bad Boy back in the 90s was 
There goes the church girl. Everybody knew I just wasn't about certain things. Okay? So if your only way you say I need relevance, I'm sorry, sweetheart. My songs will be playing the day that the world. So no, I don't need relevance. I don't need clout. I still have a roof over my head. I am very, very, very well taken care of. I was just as angry and as shocked as all of you were when you saw what you saw. If you don't want to hear what I have to say, Purple Heart, get the hell out of my life. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with you. Get out my nose, you weirdo. If I had it to do again, I would do it again and hope that he would do what he needs to do. When you are in right standing with God, he will not allow you to walk around knowing that you have hurt people, knowing that you have wronged people. He's not, he's not going to let your soul rest. He's not going to let your soul rest. So I just, you know, for those who get it, I wanted you to get it. And that's that. Anybody that still, you know, wants to feel the way you feel, you have that right. You do have that right. You do have that right. But I'm going to leave it at that. Um, funny thing is that everybody that has all the advice to me on how I should handle it. Hmm. You go do what you're telling me to do. You go do what you're telling me to do. You make that call. You see if you can get in the room. It's as simple as that. I'm very, very grateful that I can go to God when I know that I have effed up. I, I really am grateful to know that I can go to God when I've effed up. Um, and again, I hope he does what I've advised him to do. Of course, I pray for victims. I know what it is to be an essay survivor. But somebody got to start getting to these people because clearly therapy is not enough. We got to start combining all of the resources that God has blessed us with and combine their attributes to try to be better and to try to do better. Okay. I love all y'all. Even the ones of y'all that don't get it. If I got a booger in my nose, I wish you were here that you could pull it out since you seem to keep looking at my nose, but it's a pretty nose. Um, yeah, God bless y'all. Happy Sunday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Um, I don't have any towards anybody. It takes a lot of energy to if I don't rock with you, I just don't rock with you. At the end of the day, nobody gets to decide whether I make heaven other than God, the righteous judge. Um, he gets to make that decision. So while you out here trying to drag me through the internet, you know, try to make sure that when you close your eyes for the last time, that you'll be standing on the right side of God's decision making. Um, I said what I said. And that's it. Happy Sunday, everybody. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.